guys, it's Ren. So today I'm back with a brand new fall makeup look for you guys. And um, this one is really inspired by some of the trends that I've been reading about and seeing about with makeup and stuff. So one of the really big trends that I saw that Sephora has been showing in a lot of ads and stuff is having very bold, like metallic eyes or just like really dark colors on your eyes and then kind of going very light on the lips and the rest of the face. And I've also noticed that plum eyeshadow and dark plum smoky eyes have gotten really, really popular, especially in the fall because plum is such a beautiful color for fall because it's just so like perfect for the weather and it just goes great with everything and it looks great on everybody, like literally. Um, so I decided to create this awesome um, plum smoky eye and um, I absolutely love this look and I've been wanting to do this like back when I was in Europe I've been like thinking about this and planning it out and what colors I'd be using and everything so um, I have some really great dark purple eyes with um, double winged liner so it kind of plays off makes my lashes look a bit fuller which I think is really fun and kind of playful um, and I just have very light cheeks, a little bit of bronzer, and then just very um, kind of muted out nude lips with a little bit of a kind of sparkly lip gloss on top. Um, so it's just a very dramatic eye and then a kind of like nuded out face. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial and can use it for your fall makeup this year. So just keep on watching to see how to get this I've look. My foundation and my powder and I've also done my eyebrows. So first thing I'm going to do is going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. And you just want to get a small amount for both lids on your finger. About that much. So maybe like half of a pea size. Stab it on the two point fingers. And then work it on your lids up to the brow bone. And then also along the lower lash line. Next, since I'm using a purple eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying a... Um, <clears throat> purple cream eyeshadow and this is the Buxom Stay There eyeshadow in Schnauzer so it's a nice kind of shimmery kind of like orchid purple and I'm just going to put this all over my lids kind of just patting it on and this is really going to help the purple color really stay vibrant because sometimes it can get a little bit muddy if you don't apply a base to purple eyeshadows So the main eyeshadow color today I'm going to be using today is from the um, Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Palette. So I'm going to be using this shade right here which is called Brom. So it's just a really dark, pretty kind of plum eyeshadow. And um, I'm not sure if they sell it in individual um, little packages because this is a newer shade. But I'm just going to take this with my um, flat eyeshadow brush, any kind of flat synthetic brush that you have. And you're just going to pat this onto the lid, staying away from that inner corner though since we added our highlight. But you really want to get that color on there so it's nice and dark and intense. And you also don't really want to bring it up into the crease area where you do have some of that purple um, cream eyeshadow. Just focus it onto the lid. Alright, so you can see how that purple eyeshadow gave it kind of really nice, kind of jewel toned effect. So you can keep layering this until you get the right intensity that you want. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more onto this eye, but you don't want to go too overboard, but you also don't want to make it too intense, but it's just, you want it to be a really nice kind of dark purple color. So now we want to highlight our brow bone and our inner corner, and I'm going to be using um, the color Virgin from the Naked Palette. So I'm just going to work that into the inner corners. on the top lid, more on the bottom.
now going back to the eyelid, you're just going to find any kind of um, blending brush or crease brush that you want to find. I'm just going to use this one that I have. And I'm going to be using the color Hustle, which has kind of a um, plummy tint to it. It's like a kind of plummy brown color. And so I'm just going to dab the brush in there and I'm going to sweep this into the crease so I can blend out some of that purple and just give it some more smokiness. So just work in windshield wiper motions into that crease. You kind of want to hold the brush so that the um, brush is pointing upwards so the color is going to stay upwards instead of going down and covering up that purple that you already have. So then once you've got that color down, you also want to go back over and just um, smooth it out a little bit. So I'm just going to take a big blending brush that I have. It's this one from Sony Kashuk. I use it a lot. And then I'm just going to go in and kind of blend it upwards so that it softens it out. Because we don't want any harsh lines. Or at least we want kind of a shape to be there, but we don't want it to be like a straight line. We want it to kind of smoke out. Okay. So that is pretty much it for the shadows on the top lid of your eyes. Now we're just going to go down to the bottom lid. On that. So just take any angle brush you would choose. I'm just going to take this basic one from Eco Tools, and I'm going to take some more of the color Rock, which I used all over our lid. Just dab it in there, and I'm going to bring this about halfway into my lower lid. So we take too much of that dark color; it's going to get a little bit too kind of closing up the eye. And then you also want to try to connect that shadow on your lower lash line to the upper lid that is all one fluid shape. Now we're going to move on to um, eyeliner. So first I'm going to be taking this kind of dark plum eyeliner and this is from Ramon. This is one of their soft coal eyeliners. This is in Purple Passion, and I'm just going to tight line my lashes with this because if you use a purple liner to tight line your lashes or line your eyes, it kind of um, gives more like it gives that darkness to your eyes, but it also adds a pop of color to bring out your eye natural eye color instead of just using a black, which is going to close off your eye. And this is a little bit tricky for um, beginners if you've never done this before. You can take a little practice, but practice makes perfect. So just get the desired amount of color. And then you're done with that. For a wall I'm going to be taking a black waterproof eyeliner, and so I'm using the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner in this in the shade Onyx, which is the darkest one that they have, so it's just a black eyeliner. So just go in and line your waterline. I'm going to be using this black and purple eyeliner from Rimmel, and this is their Spark It Up liners, and this is in the color Ultraviolet. So I'm just going to line this kind of smudgily right along my top lashes, just kind of getting it in there so that it creates a nice smoky effect. Once you've got that eyeliner um, kind of smudged in there, I'm going to go back and use a eyeliner smudging brush and also use some of Romp to smudge it in just so that I can continue with that purple color to make sure it isn't getting too overpowered or losing that color. So just go in there and smudge it out. We're going to be using this black liquid eye pen to line right along our um, upper lash line, kind of in a thin line, and then we're going to create some wings. But first, just do a thin line right along your lashes. So now you're going to go in and add a wing, so you can just do it just with this, it's very easy to do. So just go in there, kind of along the line of the um, eyeshadow you have already existing, 
and just bring it to a point and then pull it in. Now I got these nice little wings. Feel free to go in and add some more. I'm actually going to add um, another wing on each side that will go in a little bit more in because if you do that, it actually adds a nice lengthening effect to your lashes. want to move on to your mascara. So first just curl lashes however you like to curl them. Just make sure they're very elongated. For mascara you want to use um, either a um, lengthening or kind of a volumizing mascara. So I'm using the Benefit Their Real Mascara which is my all-time favorite right now. So um, I'm just going to work that into my lashes. You want to do at least two coats. The second coat fo focusing more on the outer corners of your eyes to kind of um, just kind of thicken them up because if you thicken the outer edges it makes your eyes appear bigger and wider. So just go in there and really wiggle it in your lashes. Really lengthen those lashes up. liner kind of like bl really blends in there it just makes it seem like you have really thick lashes in there. So just as long as your mascara is on very thick and just very like bold and kind of just volumized it's going to be really really nice for this look. So I'm going to use my favorite bronzer from the body shop and just an angled brush and I'm going to focus this onto my forehead kind of getting it into my hairline and then on the sides of my face That's a great slipping effect for those of you who have larger noses and like to slim them down a little bit. My nose isn't very large, I just like to kind of get that effect. And then I also bring it out under the eyes. Okay, so now you got a little bit of color. For blush, you just want to use something that's kind of very light and a little bit peachy just to add some warmth to your cheeks so you're not getting too washed out. So I'm using a MAC Pinch of Peach Blushes. This is a beautiful peachy pink color. absolutely love it. And it's a sheer tone, so it's not too intense. You can kind of layer it up for how intense you want it to be. So I'm just going to use a basic fluffy blush brush. Just kind of pat it in there. And then swirl it onto my cheeks. Kind of bringing it back to that bronzer. This is going to give me a nice kind of flushed look but nothing too intense like a bright pink blush that I'm going to just look like a kind of made up doll. I just 
gives that right amount of kind of flesh and warmth to your cheeks so you look kind of healthy. So last but not least, I'm going to use a um, kind of a nude look for the lips. Just because the eyes are so intense, I don't want to add too much color to the lips. Although if you want, you can do something with a little bit of a light pink, which is really pretty. But I'm going to be using the Revlon Soft Nude Lipstick. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. And this is a great nude lipstick because it gives you that nice nude color without making it look um, too nude. So you still have that healthiness and it doesn't look like you're sickly. And over that I'm going to be applying a nude lip gloss with some pink shimmers in it. This is the lip gloss Slice of Heaven from the um, Beauty Rush line at Victoria's Secret. So I'm just going to add some of that onto my lips. And this is just going to add some kind of nice nude shine with some pink sparkles in there just to kind of amp up lips a teensy bit but still keeping them nude. So just add that on there. Adding it on. And this lip gloss smells so good. It smells like like a really nice like cheese, like a cream cheese or vanilla icing. And it's so so pretty. I love the Beauty Rush lip glosses. Okay. This just adds a little bit of a nice shine. You don't have to add a lip gloss. You could add um, a nude lip gloss with no shimmer in it if you wanted to a plumping one. But I think this one's really nice because it has that pink bit of pink glitter to it and a little bit of sheen to it. So it adds some more healthiness to the lips and also adds a little bit more color in there. So this is the finished and final look. So just show you guys up close. So it's just a very nice kind of dark smoky plummy look with really bold lashes and then just kind of very soft natural face with the nice kind of muted um, lips and cheeks. This is a really big trend for fall whether it's using metallic eyeshadows or these kind of dark plummy purples. Just having the bold, really nice bold eyes and then the muted out cheeks and face. So um, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to try this look with any other bold dark eyeshadows you have. Um, I preferably just love purples because they work really well with my hazel eyes and they really bring them out and just make them look so green. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this look and I will talk to you all soon and see you next time guys. Bye!